Welcome to Dr. Sonia TV and the Wisdom Vault. Have you ever thought about the fact that sometimes you see people that have a pathway that believe in a higher power, God, let's just start there. However, they seem to be struggling differently, more uh, struggle financially in their life. And so this one today is more about, are you too religious to be wealthy? Now, I know that this is going to shake some feathers. And someone said, why don't you say that on your video? Because I know it is. And this is what I've seen over the last 52 years of my life at the time that I'm recording this video. I grew up in a southern town in Arkansas. My mother went to a Baptist church every Sunday. And of course, guess where I had to go every Sunday, regardless if I was coming home from college, going out partying the night before on Sunday morning, guess where you were going to be? So at a very young age, and even as a teenager, I began to ask questions. I started to ask questions about this God that we are supposed to serve. And what I realized, I began to see majority of the people in the four walls of this church have the same conversation every single week. That's just my experience. Maybe it's not yours, but it's mine. And then as I grew up as an adult and I traveled the world and went from country to country and city to city in the United States Army, I saw the same thing. And I could not understand how is it that the God that we serve is this amazing being, but the people that are serving are struggling. Are you too religious to be wealthy? And I began to understand, or at least I thought I understood, well, maybe it's because of where they are in the city in which they grew up. Maybe it was because of the environment in which they found themselves. No, no, no. Maybe it's because the job that they had, it didn't pay enough. And I started thinking about all of those things. And so I started to lean in and pay closer attention. As a woman of faith myself, and I truly believe that religion has caused many to be bound. I believe that religion is such a thing that keeps you very closed, very structured, very locked in, and there are no movements, and everything is this, and everything is just like this. You can't go outside of that. So much so where I heard, uh, even in some ministries, that if you had wealth, you were wicked. If you had money, you were wicked. I was like, where is this coming from? And I don't believe that's what God intended for this. I began to really lean in even the more. And again, when I would travel and go from one church to the next, a lot of them were teaching the same principles. And I began to ask questions. Not of just the God that they were serving, but their thought process and where they got it from. Why is it that the same thing is happening in so many ministries and churches? I became a two-year-old, but why? How come? Why is that happening? How is this to be true? Are you too religious to be wealthy? I also began to realize that I was too that I was too spiritual for the church and I was too religious for the world. I didn't know where I fit in. That's probably why I asked so many questions. But then as I began to build my business, as I am praying and meditating and fasting and doing all those things, I began to realize that things were different from what I was being taught. So I had to start reading for myself. Now, this is not going to be a Bible study or anything like that. But this will be truth and facts of what I believe that is happening out there in the world. I believe that there are people that are hiding behind their God. So much so that they don't trust themselves, they're not taking action, and they're not really doing the research for themselves. I don't believe, and I keep saying I, I'm just saying what I have 
felt, what I have seen. There should not be so many people out in the world that believe in such a big God, but they are struggling emotionally, spiritually, and financially. Why is that? I believe there's three things. One, they're hiding behind the God that they serve. They're hiding. They're hiding like, I don't trust myself, so I'm just waiting on God. Are you too religious to be wealthy? I'm just waiting on him to deliver and pay my bills. First off, you should be paying your bills nonetheless. It's your responsibility. You took it on. It's yours. So tell me what, what God has to do with you paying your bills on time. I believe the second thing that happens is that they don't trust themselves, so they do absolutely nothing and just sit back and just wait. They hide behind him first off and put his name in the forefront, and then they sit behind and not do anything at all and not take any action. I would just say in this, this space, in this place of where I am in business right now, I encounter a lot of women of faith, a lot of people of faith. And I can always tell where they are financially, where they are spiritually, and where they are emotionally based on the words that they use. And I'm not saying that you cannot use God's name. I'm not saying that at all. Please don't misunderstand what I'm saying on this conversation. What I am saying, however, is if you serve such an amazing and big God, shouldn't you be, as they say, in his image? I truly believe that there's too many people that are out there that are not living up to what they believe and what they have read. They're only doing a portion of what is said. Simply because they will not take action, they're relying on God to do everything in their life and they're not doing anything. I am a woman of faith. I truly believe that there is a God. And I stand on that. But what I do not believe in is people that sit and not do anything at all about it. I think we all, I believe, we have all the same opportunities. Some of us choose and say yes, make a conscious decision to move forward, and some of us don't. And we sit and wait. And that's why there's so many people that are religious and not spiritual and taking action about building wealth. Wealth is not wicked. Wealth is something that is due to us. Wealth is something that we can all have if we go after it. But you're going to have to make a decision. Are we just going to sit and just wait on God to do all the work and we do nothing? I'm waiting on him to give me a plan. And then when he does give you one, well, that's not the one that I want to do. That can't be for me. Are you too religious to be wealthy? You really, I decided for me that I wanted to sit back. I am not going to be too religious to be wealthy. I believe that he has a plan for each and every one of us. But I also believe that he wants us to do the work. I believe that he gives us all a download to create wealth. But we have to to do the work and not hide behind him. There is a game plan. It was written in, while you were in your mother's womb about who you would become. But you're going to have to make the decision whether you're going to walk it out. The question I have for you is, are you too religious to be wealthy? <laughs> <laughs>